Onan 5500 generator, queen size bed. These are recliners. You pull this, oh. open it up. Mike, I think it's time for you to show them your favorite part of this RV. This is awesome. Everything folds together, slacks up in here. Just so much room. I mean, it's a great uh, party RV as well. Yeah. We are going to show you something that we never thought we would be trying out, but trying it out we are. A toy hauler, in our case, the Carbon uh, 360. It is 41 feet long, almost 50, 49 and inches if you put down this uh, rear deck, which we'll show you in a couple of minutes. So it is a big baby, but it is pretty cool. What is interesting is that the plumbing is all well insulated or it's put in areas where it will stay warm. So you should be able to use this three quarters of the year. Well, let's start with the exterior of this carbon and uh, we'll walk you through the paces and show you that and then the interior. Well, let me give you a tour of the exterior of the, uh, of the Carbon 360. And let's start with uh, this pin box. This is uh, from Lippert and it is the Trail Air. It is a awesome pin box. Uh, it really makes for a smooth ride. There's not the porpoising or the chucking that you see on so many pin boxes. Uh, there's, uh, uh, this is the front of the unit. In here is the propane tanks, two 30-gallon uh, tanks that uh, give you lots of uh, propane to use. And in here, this is locked, by the way, which is always good. This is your uh, Onan 5500 generator. This uh, has its own fuel supply that comes on. It uh, just does you a great job So for boondocking. There are docking lights on. Up top, also locked by the way, is uh, more storage. And uh, this is great. You can see that the uh, uh, solar panel controller is there. The solar charge controller up on the roof is 300 watts of solar. There's a solar disconnect. Uh, here is your pure sine wave inverter, uh, your power magnum uh, inverter, and uh, some more uh, controls here. But nice uh, storage. You can get a chair or two in there if you'd like. And uh, that's great storage. Uh, you might want some specs on it. You'll find them all written here. The um, uh, unloaded weight of, uh, of, the, of this, uh, this toy hauler is uh, about uh, 12,940 pounds. Its uh, gross vehicle weight is 17,500. Uh, you have 7,000 pounds on each axle. The tires are 16 inch tires. Uh, you'll find this uh, has a cargo capacity, a cargo carrying capacity of about 4,500 pounds. Nice setup. In here are your uh, two standard 100 amp hour Dragonfly 100 uh, amp uh, 12 volt lithium batteries. Up here, this is the Lippert six way leveling system. Uh, automatic leveling, so nice. Uh, they just do a great job of automatically hitching and unhitching. Uh, all you got to do is, is uh, read the instructions. But there's the level up system. Your water controls and uh, winterizing controls are all in this package. Your black tank, your gray tank, your drainage pipes here for your sewer and your gray tank. Uh, uh, water connections back in here. Great suspension system. This is that more ride suspension system that really does a terrific job on uh, keeping this unit uh, really going down the road in a smooth fashion. Let's go around to the back of the unit. Take a quick look. There is a uh, stairway that you can set up to go on the deck right here. Very easy. And coming back around, you'll see that you have a second exit and entrance here to the garage. Uh, this is a folding step. Really does a great job. I like the folding steps instead of the ones that you bring down because if you're in a tight spot it's much easier to get the steps out. Uh, back uh, screen door here. There is a front entrance and again these steps will fold up. This is a tall unit 
And I want to point out that that's a pretty hefty step up for a lot of people. And uh, there's a nice handle here, a nice grab handle, but you may want to have a small step stool there as well, because that, particularly if you're carrying things, that's a pretty, pretty strong uh, uh, step up. And then a little bit of storage here. This is pass-through storage, has a sliding tray, which you can, uh, we can use to bring it out. Uh, it's very narrow, so you can't put too much in there, but, uh, but that is some system. Uh, that's locked. This is also locked. This is, of course, the hydraulic system for the leveling system, the hydraulic controls for the leveling system. So that is the exterior. Let's go in. All right, before we show you the living room, let's uh, show you what's at the front of the coach. Uh, first of all, uh, just a three-step rise up to the, uh, the upper level. Uh, all the controls are to your left, and this includes uh, the generator controls, the slides, uh, the tanks, so you can see what the tank readings are, uh, the thermometer, the thermostat, and some light switches. So all the controls there. To the immediate left is the bathroom, and it's uh, a door. Notice this, it's a real door instead of a pocket door. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But here's the bathroom. Nice room in the bathroom. A pretty large medicine cabinet. Lots of room for lots of things. There's also storage underneath. You see, two shelves. And over here, to the left of the shower, are some more shelves. Nice shower, glass door. It opens to a pretty full-size shower with a skylight. There is a fan in the bathroom as well. Uh, nice uh, secure hooks on the wall for all of your towels and a ceramic toilet. A little cubby hole down at the bottom of that cabinet. Isn't that nice? Okay, now remember I talked about this door. I want to get in the bathroom. Suppose it's the middle of the night. Here's my criticism. This door should be a pocket door because for me to get in I actually I'm standing on the edge right here can you see my feet <laughs> in the middle of the night I could easily fall down those stairs so to shut that door you got to go right to the edge of the stair that's pretty scary in the middle of the night beautiful bedroom lots of storage queen-size bed take a look at the storage above uh, very nice nightstands on each end, plugs here, and this is a uh, magnetic charger for your cell phone. The wardrobe is on a slide out, so you have lots of room, both sides of the bed. Again, another nightstand. So uh, all in all, really great uh, bedroom, and of course the second air conditioner right up here for the bed with the control here. Room on the wall. Uh, solid, it's studded back there and backed for TV, for you to mount your own TV. All the plugs and the connectors are there. So that's the, uh, the front. Now let's come down and take a look at the living area. And here's where we find Jennifer. Now it's my turn for the living area, the main living area. First thing you notice when you enter here are there are four comfortable chairs, and I mean super comfortable. These are recliners, you pull this, oh, and your legs go up, and then on the side, this is for heat, if you want to warm yourself, maybe it's winter and you've been outside snowmobiling or snowshoeing, you can sit here and it'll heat, but if you just want a massage, you're going to push that one. Hmm. Maybe we'll uh, stop this video and complete it later, I'm kind of enjoying this massage. Uh, no, no, come on, you got to work here. Oh, man. Okay. All right, yeah. so I'm going to push this in and down. Best part about these two is you're directly across from a 50-inch TV. You've got this workspace, countertop, but if it's television time, we're just going to push this. And up it comes. 
50 inches of TV screen. So television set, four comfortable reclining chairs. These two are on the slide out. You're asking, where's the table? Where's the chairs? Let me show you. These are called motorcycle chairs. I think they're definitely for kids. My legs are too long. I'm kind of hitting there. And if Mike, if you sat here, I, we'd have to be good friends. Whoever sits here, you have to be a good friend with because your legs are going to be right next to each other. But fun concept. Here's your table. You can watch someone in the kitchen preparing the food. And uh, these are your seats. Now, before we go to the kitchen area, I've got to show you the storage up here. I am tall. And here's our storage. Lots of storage up there. But you're going to need a couple of a stool. About a three-step. Something to hang on. Collapsible to get up there. As the storage up here, this isn't quite as high. If you want to store things up there. Now, let me take you to the kitchen. We had a bunch of people in here last night. And I was showing them this cozy little kitchen. And one of the women said, this is a one butt kitchen. <laughs> this is a kitchen for one person to be in. If you had two or three people in here, you'd have to be really close friends because you'd be a bit upset with each other, bumping into each other. So a one butt kitchen. That's going to live forever in our vocabulary when we are touring RVs. <laughs> We've got the propane stove, got three burners, an oven, and storage down here for pots and pans. Okay, the sink. First thing, a light above the sink. We need that, this little light. I like the one big area sink. I like this. You can put your dishes here, wash them, and then put them here to dry them. The sink's a keeper. And I like the arch in the faucet. Let's, let's turn this on. This is great. Just what I need. Now we've got some drawers. Put our utensils, silverware, whatever we need. Cabinet that opens for our waste basket and some of our cleaning products. A little bit of storage under here. Narrow, but every, every inch is important when you're in an RV. Storage, storage, storage. Microwave, storage. So we've got a residential refrigerator. Open it up. Freezer down here and down here lots of freezer space now comes the fun pantry two doors on this pantry this is nice to have two doors so i think it won't break as easily as if you have one big heavy door loaded with everything two i think is a better idea okay kitchen living area mike i think it's time for you to show them your favorite part of this rv Okay, so that's the front and the living room. Now, I should tell you that uh, this uh, carbon sleeps seven people. Seven. Now, two in the front, in the front bedroom that we've already shown you. But we have one up here. This is a loft. Can you see that? But there is a, uh, there's a ladder. I have, we're not using it, but there's a ladder that goes right here. And there's still room to get out in the front, but there's a ladder. So... That's a, that's a place for a kid. They would love to stay up there in that bunk. And the ladder will keep them from falling off. Uh, not a lot of air circulation up there, but you know kids. All right, let's now go to the garage. This is the garage. Now, I want to apologize because I am using this unit that we're reviewing while we're up uh, on uh, our summer meetup for the RV Lifestyle uh, fans and followers. And all these boxes are prizes and things that we're giving away. So I have them stacked in the garage. But you can see how, how much room there is, nevertheless, with these boxes here. Uh, we have, they have some carpeting down, but you can take it off. You can see it's a nice industrial floor. If you're loading up ATVs or motorcycles or whatever your favorite toys are. This is a beautiful garage. It'll hold uh, 3,000 pounds of cargo. So you can really put a lot up. There's a ramp obviously going down. Back here, these are windows. These are full windows, but uh, you can block it all up so people can't see what toys you happen to have in there. This is a sofa right now. It's kind of a jackknife sofa because it will, the two pieces will come together 
and make a double bed. Two sleeping in the front, one in that loft above me, and you can put two here as well. And if you want to look up there, can you see up there? That is a bed as well that will come down on these tracks. Uh, this sofa, by the way, uh, will fold up tighter than that against the wall. But using this switch here, you can raise the sofa. See how it's going up on that thing? And you can get it way up high and out of the way for all of your toys. And lots of room underneath. Now, if you were going to use this bed up here, you would want this sofa down low where we had it before. And then you'd bring this bed and it would be kind of like a bunk bed. So let's uh, count them again. We have uh, one uh, sleeping in the loft, two in the up front bedroom. That's three, four, five, because again, remember this comes together. And then up here, there's room for two more, six and seven. Seven people can sleep. So this is the garage. It is, I think, about 12 feet. And it is, it's the full width of the trailer. It's extremely tall, lots of room. Uh, storage up here, you would certainly need a step to get up there because I'm 5'10", I can't, I can barely touch that. Uh, so you'll need a step, a stair step to get up in the storage there. Now, let me show you what we are calling, at least Jen and I are calling, the bow deck. This is awesome. This is like a balcony, a patio, a deck that gets you out and uh, it's very stable, nice uh, strong screen around it. They have a really nice system of locking this and this just pulls back really together and it will go back in here so you can lift this ramp up and seal it all off. Now, since I'm shooting this myself, it's a little bit hard to show you how this uh, fencing system works. So let me hand the camera to Jennifer and uh, I will then uh, uh, show you how the fencing system sets up and stores. Uh, first of all, there is a gate and it's on a wheel. I don't know if you can see the wheel, but uh, that's how you go in and out. And there is a little latch there that you can put on it. And there's even a lock so it'll stay locked and you don't have to worry. But they've really made this easy. You see about down here and these little things right in here, these, these will pop out. Here's one here. So watch this. I will uh, just move that out like so. And then these come out really easy. Everything folds together. And this locks up in here. They slide really well because they're on wheels. See how they fold? They fold in together. That's it. That's how simple that is. And of course, back here, this lifts up and securely locks. And that is, well, what we've called the bow deck. But it's a great patio, balcony, call it what you want. Our folks who came and toured with us uh, thought it made a great addition to an RV party. Okay, so you're all set to enjoy your outside area, but there's bugs just about any place you go, there are bugs. So we have the strap and we have a screen and we're gonna pull this down and awesome, keep those bugs out. By the way, there's a second awning, which is nice. You want the, that extra shade to sit there when the sun gets at just that right angle that you need it. So two awnings. Now, how do you use this thing? Well, I should point out, we, as I told you, we we're at, at our gathering and uh, we have about 50 people here and we had them all over last night for a campfire and naturally everybody wanted to go through the uh, the carbon uh, toy hauler we must have had a half dozen people out here on this uh, back deck the bow deck the patio besides Bo, who likes to use it himself during the daytime and in the evening uh, they were in this they were all over touring the inside just so much room i mean it's a great uh, party uh, RV as well. We have enjoyed using this the past couple of days. Uh, I never thought we'd ever be in a fifth wheel toy hauler. The uh, extra room, we don't need that. We don't have toys that we bring with us that we need that big area. But if you are a family or person that needs to bring golf carts and 
kayaks and motorcycles, snowmobiles, ATVs, all those different things, you would have room here. Maybe we do need to get some toys. Hmm. Well, Bo says he needs a couple more dog friends to come with us. Bo did enjoy that Bo deck. Hey, we are Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, if you will. And don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already subscribed, come on. We need it. Subscribe. Happy trails. Thank mm -hmm. you.